it's nice to just see that you're not alone, that people are going through similar things like you are too. We're all expected to like be perfect and like that's what the expectation is. But we're all human so we all struggle with our own things and that's okay. These are about 200 of your peers, your fellow mental health leaders, 200 people who are in that complex dialogue, figuring it out together, supporting each other and accepting one another. We really applaud you for leaning into that complexity and addressing mental health. We're leaning in with you and if you ever feel alone, I urge you to remember what we just did, the faces all around you here. There is so much power in that. And there is so much power in recognizing the power of your voice, not only to make a difference for others and using your voice to be vulnerable and to break the stigma around mental health, but you can also use your voice to unpack those struggles and begin that healing journey for yourself. I liked when she said it's okay to be not okay and I kind of just internalized that as like it's not okay to pretend to be okay and a lot of people do that which makes the problem twice as hard. Things like mental health, topics like this that affect our schools, uh, we want to do everything we can to support that. So bringing the community, our sports community, our, our athletic community, our school community together uh, like this is a very important initiative for us. Uh, as a former student athlete, um, you know, a lot of things have to do with training your body, but not so much training your mind. And uh, I think it's very important to know that there is a collection of people that you can talk to. and You have help and there's, it's just around the corner. I think it was nice to hear that there's people who can really appear on the outside to like have this good life, but are struggling too, and that anyone can struggle. Strong and talented and worth it. I am good enough. I